As you may or may not know, Monster Hunter Rise came out roughly a week ago on PC, and I have been playing it a moderate amount of time, so I figured I would give you guys some tips and neat tricks that I've learnt in my time playing Monster Hunter. Number one, do yourself a favour and choose to gather a pallet coat. It will help you tremendously with gathering materials both from the monster and the field. Tip number two, and before you click off this video because re this tip is in every single fuck tips and tricks video, try out a weapon on the field against any monster. It's fine. You will quickly figure out whether the weapon meshes with you or if it doesn't. In combat, you will notice the flaws that come with the weapon. Every weapon has them from managing stamina to slow attacks to long combos that stop you from doing anything. Try the weapons out. And if you don't like the weapon, if you don't like how the weapon performed, try a different one. Do not torture yourself playing a weapon you do not enjoy. Every weapon is viable. Tip number three. This one came to me with the release on Rise because I was playing with a couple friends that only just picked up the game. Always be upgrading your armor in low rank. The skills barely matter compared to being able to survive more hits from a monster. And don't worry about using all your armor spheres. You will get plenty from doing your optional subquests. Number four. On that note, tip number four. Keep up with your optional subquests as they provide you not only with valuable armor spheres, but some rarer materials as well as traps and other goodies that can be collected from either Hanoa or Minoto. Tip number five, back out onto the field. Always be picking up honey and herbs in the field as they will supply you with potions and mega potions. So always be looting them. Tip number six, do not be scared to send out an SOS flare or in this case, a Kahoot. Don't really have a word for it, honestly, because there's nothing worse than putting down an amazing game because it was too hard. If you are struggling with a monster, this is something I very, very commonly see in difficult games like Monster Hunter and Dark Souls and what have you. Get help if you are struggling with something. It will not only help you in the hunt, but you can learn things from other players and it just keeps you playing the game. You get to happily play the game and have fun. We like fun here. On top of that, you can always go back and try to solo it if it gets on your mind. The next few tips are more catered to personal improvement. If you don't think you're performing as well as you should with a weapon, look up a guide for it and skim through to see if there's something that you're missing with your weapon. More information is never a bad thing. Tip number eight, and this one kind of annoys me, stop capturing monsters. I know it's a game and you can play how you want, but this is about self-improvement. When you capture a monster, unless you have certain skills for it, you do not get extra rewards. You get less and lower rarity items. You also cut out a quarter of your experience fighting a monster. Imagine if you were playing Monster Hunter and you got to, say, the last boss and you were just able to capture it as soon as the fight gets intense. You lose that entire bit. You lose that experience in general. You learn absolutely nothing from it. In fact, the appeal to most people on Monster Hunter is actually the satisfaction of mastering a fight. Getting your time against that monster lower and lower and lower until you can do it purely based on muscle memory. Tip number nine. There are these little chubby birds around. If you see them, just run over them. They provide a permanent stat buff depending on their color. This is extremely valuable in the higher up hunts or just monsters that you personally struggle with. It'll keep you alive. Tip number 10, when wyvern riding, if you want the creature you're on to stick around after the fight, you can instead launch it into the mo other monster that you're fighting. It'll stay around and make the other monster rideable. On the other hand, if you want the monster you are currently on to leave and not get in the way, you can use the mount finisher and the monster run away afterwards. Right, here's our neat tricks section. You can do a faster walk while drinking a potion if you hold down the sprint button. Number two, you're able to skip the animation at the end of hunts by being stuck up in the air. It saves a tiny bit of time because I hate wasting my time. While we're at it, you can also skip the camera panning out after you kill a monster by pressing the start button or options button after a kill slash capture. While in a rampage, you can charge up the cannons alternate fires instead of just shooting immediately. When launching a monster into a wall, if you let go of the sprint button after the initial wall bang, you can turn way better to launch the monster back into the same wall. Number six, there are three directions you can launch yourself with the wire bug. Each are very useful and I don't see people actually using it too often. If you want to go straight up, climb something vertically, use the L2 and R2 combination. You can just look where you want to go. L2, R2 goes where you want. 
you'll go exactly where it is. If you need to get out of the way of something really quickly and don't have time to look around with the L2, R2, you can do L2 and triangle and it will go the way your character is facing. If you need to quickly get down from somewhere, you can use L2 and circle and it will send you downwards. These have been my 10 tips and a few neat tricks to make your monster hunting experience a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more like this. 